Hello and welcome to my video for the first wave of Amiibo figures that came out. These are some figures that go along with the Wii U and I think eventually the 3DS as well, and they can interact with games and stuff. Currently they just interact with Super Smash Bros, so all of these are kind of branded with Super Smash Bros. And I'm just holding my camera right now so I can give you guys an overview of all these. And let's zoom in, take a look at each one individually, then I'll get you guys some more close-up shots of them. And eventually I'm also going to open up this Link one right here, because I had you guys vote on which one I should open. That's the one that got the most votes, so take a closer look here. Let me make sure my focus is good. That's yeah, pretty good. So there you got Donkey Kong. We got Samus. Link. And of course Yoshi. Down to the next row we've got Marth. We Fit Trainer. Fox. And Pikachu. A little bit of glare there but you can see him still. And down here in the last row we have Peach. Kirby. Mario. And the Villager. So these are the 12 that came out initially. There are going to be I think 6 more in December but... That's what we got right now. So I'm going to cut ahead and show you guys some more close-up shots of these. Alright, so I got all of my Amiibo figures here set up, and let's take a look at them one by one. So let's just move Princess Peach up to the front here. And you can see each one is just the figure. I think they're, I don't know, about a thumb size. I don't know, they're a few inches tall. I don't know how exactly how tall they are, but they each come in like these little plastic cubes on the back of a, or on the front of a cart, I guess. So there's Princess Peach. Uh, the paint looks pretty nice. I like it. I'm digging it. And there's the bottom, and there's the back. Now, the, my biggest complaint about these is actually the packaging, and the reason is simply, you can't reseal this. It's not a box, so once you rip this crud off, it's off. You cannot put it back on there, so that sucks. So that's why I probably won't open all of them. I'll just open the ones I actually intend to use in the game. Got a hair on top of that one there. But here's a closer look at Kirby. On that side, and that side as well. Nifty. Now, I just think it'd be sick to have, like, all of these guys lined up hanging on a wall. Just, I'll show you guys what exactly I mean. But I think it'd be sick just to have them all in their cases lined up on a wall and stuff. So that's probably how I will display them. I think they'd be better off in that kind of, that kind of display rather than, like, on a shelf or something. So there's the villager here. Of course, from Animal Crossing! I guess I could show you guys the top as well, but... Not really much to see on the tops. Now let's go to the next row. We got Pikachu. I'm actually really digging Pikachu. I played him a little bit today in the Wii U version of Smash Bros. And I was really enjoying him, actually. So there's Pikachu. Here is Fox. Of course, very popular character in the Smash series, especially back in Melee. I think he's considered the best character in that game. Cool. Let's look at Wii Fit Trainer. Another character I've been trying to make work. She's not... She doesn't seem very good in the game, but... I've been playing her, and she's pretty fun, but very different. She has a lot of weird moves. So there's her. Let's go to Marth here. Ah, crud. Oh, there goes Wii Fit Trainer. She just totally fell. I got her. So here's the Marth figure. I think his sword's a little bit droopy. You can kind of see it's... I think it's more of a softer plastic, so it's kind of bendy. But it doesn't look too bad. There's him. Uh, we got four more here. These are some of my favorites. Here's the link that I will open for you guys in just a minute, because I had you guys vote on Twitter, and this is what won the vote. And my three personal favorites are these right here. I guess I'll go in order of favorites, so this is my third favorite. Samus, loving this one. I love Samus, love the Metroid games, and this is just a beautiful figure. Digging it. Alright, second favorite. Of course, good old Donkey Kong. Look at this guy. Looking real nice. I really like the fur texture they gave him and all that crud. Very nice. And last but certainly not least, my favorite of all, of course, is Yoshi. So I probably will end up opening this one and trying him out in the game. You can actually have your amiibos fight each other in the game, so I might open up four of them. I just gotta decide which four I want to open. One, of course, will be Link. I might open Link and my three favorites, just to have them in the game. Or I might wait and get the Mega Man one and open up that, because Mega Man's like my favorite character to play right now. But there you go, guys. That is a close-up of all these. So now let's go ahead and actually open up this link. And you guys will see how badly we destroy this casing here. So we have to rip it off on the side there. I'll try not to absolutely destroy it, but there's only so much you can do. So, yeah, already, already totally destroying things. Yeah, that's the downside, is this is never going to go back on there. So that card is off now. I mean, I guess you could glue it back on if you really wanted to, but I think most people are either going to leave them packaged or they're going to take them out. So then this plastic piece comes out, and inside here is our figure. Let's see, I think I have to bend this plastic open a little bit, and we should be able to just pull him right out. He's... Get out of there! 
Okay, I didn't break it. We're good. So there is Link out of his shell there. He's got like a little yellow stand. Kind of an odd color for a stand. I'm not sure why they didn't go with clear. But there he is. And I guess you set this down on the Wii U gamepad to get him to work. And his sword, a little bit bendy, but it's, it's straight, so it's good. There's some details on the shield. Good stuff. So anyways, guys, I will meet you in the game, and we'll try this guy out. All right, before I do that, I said I told you guys how I would want to display them, and there kind of will be a missing piece down here because I took out the link, but I kind of want to do something like this, kind of how I showed you at the start. I'd, of course, align it a lot better, but imagine this having, like, maybe a cork board or something, and then pinning all these guys on there so they just kind of sit like this in this array of cubes and stuff. You can kind of just look to the side, and you can still, you can still get a good view of them and everything. And at the top, you can have your favorite characters so their cards are poking out. I think that'd be a pretty cool way to display them in like a game room or something, but let me know what you guys think. If you're planning to get some amiibos, how do you plan to display them? Are you going to take them out? Leave a couple in? Let me know. And let's go get to the game. Now we are in the game, and I have no idea where to actually use the amiibo, so I'm just going to set it down on the gamepad and see if it recognizes it immediately. So I have my Link figure setting it on the gamepad right now, and it is not doing anything, so I'm guessing we do have to go and actually figure out where to use this. Ah, right down there, there's a blatant amiibo option. So, ready? Touch your amiibo to the gamepad. There we go, guys. I touched down my Link. Set Psycho as the owner of this amiibo? Heck yeah. So, I now own a Link amiibo. What color do I want him to be? Uh, let's see. Eh, it's kind of a yellow, but it's close enough to orange. I think I'm going to go with that one. Got to choose a nickname for him. I think I've already got a pretty good nickname here. We're, of course, going to go with Lonk. There we go. I think it's a pretty good name. So, heck yeah, guys. He's coming to life! There's Lonk. Improve your amiibo figure stats by feeding it equipment or customize its special moves. Select OK to save. So I could feed it some equipment. I don't have very much though. I guess we'll go ahead and give him some brawn badge. Do I have a bunch of those? No, just one of each. I guess I'll just feed him all the stuff I happen to have. Even though that kind of just nuked his attack. I think that was not a good... That was probably a terrible idea. I could also change his specials here. But I don't actually have any unsp any specials unlocked, so he's just going to stick with this. Alright then. Save changes to your amiibo? Sure. Maybe I should have said no so that my amiibo would not... Uh, so I could have redone those things I fed him, but... Oh well. So I think I'm going to go over to... How do I actually fight him? I think I want to go over to Smash, right? Let's find out. I think I want to go to Smash and... Yep, there's Lonk. Okay. And I'm going to set me as... Who should I be? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pick Wii Fit Trainer, the character I was mentioning before that I'm kind of trying to learn. So we're going to go up against Lonk, who's currently just level 1. And I think the stage I want to go with... Let's go with... Uh, good old Battlefield. One of my favorite Smash Bros. stages. I think it's in... Every Smash Bros.? It might not be in the first one. I can't remember. But it's definitely in Melee and on. So let's get to fighting. And I heard there's some things like if you do certain moves, it'll actually train him. So maybe I should teach him to do lots of forward smash. Maybe I should also pick another Link to fight him so that he learns to fight based on what I do as Link. Well, he's not very smart right now. But he's level 2 already, so I think the max level is 50. I'm going to teach him to do lots of forward smash. There we go. Let's tell him to stretch our legs here with the Wii Fit Trainer. So I guess we'll get him up to level 15 today. That's a pretty good goal, right, guys? So I'll just keep fighting him until he gets some more levels here. Now, I forgot to set the time, so this time's going to go down in just like a couple of minutes. So I don't even know if we'll get him to level 3 before this is over. Oh, there he's... Okay, so he is level 3. Let's try to get level 4 before this match ends. And after the match is over, I guess I'll switch over to... Maybe, uh... I guess I can play some Mega Man for you guys. I've been trying a whole bunch of characters to see who I really enjoy. Oops, kind of messed up there. And I gotta say, I really am liking Pikachu and Ness. Those might be some characters I really try out. Mega Man's like my main dude right now. I've played him by far the most. Probably like 90% of everything I've played has been as Mega Man. Even though I do plan to play more Yoshi eventually, I just kind of have been feeling out all the different characters. So I know eventually Yoshi's gonna be my main character just because I absolutely love Yoshi. I love Yoshi's Yoshi games, I love the character, so I definitely will be playing more Yoshi eventually, but before I get to that point, I just want to play whatever, you know? There we go. 
We got him killed again. I don't know if we'll get level 5. We have 15 seconds left. Come on. Get level 5, Link. Now, I heard once they get to high levels, they will actually get much, much stronger. I think a level 50 amiibo is more difficult than a level uh, level 9 computer. So, this might be a good way to, to get some practice in. Although, fighting AI is rarely actually useful for competitive play. Maybe better than nothing. So, that was pretty easy. Long did not put up that big of a fight. And I guess let's go and choose... Let's go and choose some Mega Man here. Maybe, oh, the meat bill's already entered. I think that might have been a glitch. Oh, maybe it's because I still have it sitting on the gamepad, so I'm taking the Link figure off the gamepad now. Okay, so let's go with Mega Man here. I like my lemon lime color, so I'm going to rock that. I'll probably do one match as Mega Man and then maybe do one more as Ness. And we'll just keep, we'll keep doing matches until he's level 15. And you know what? Let's just go random stage. We're going to get the Bridge of Elden, an actual Zelda stage, so that's actually kind of funny. Zelda stage while fighting Link. I mean, I mean, Lonk. We're fighting Lonk here. Now, this is a stage, I think, from Twilight Princess. Or the areas from Twilight Princess. Which I've actually never beaten Twilight Princess, which I'm sad to say, because that game seems awesome. The only thing is I hate the Wii controls, so I want to get it on the GameCube eventually. But that game is dang expensive on the Wii. I think it's still like 50 bucks or something, so pretty much a full-price game, even though it came out nearly a decade ago. And Lonk is still just not putting up much of a fight, dude. You gotta step up your game, bro. Maybe I should just... What, what, what moves are good for Link? I guess I'll just do more forward smash. I mean, Link has a good forward smash, so I'll just teach him to use that. Maybe he should be using more... Actually, neutral air is good, too, so let me try using lots of neutral air. I don't know if that's just superstition, that what, what you do actually teaches them, or if that is confirmed to be reality, but I really have no way to test that right now. So he is level 7, so we're almost halfway there. Well, I guess 7 is close enough to halfway because 8 is over halfway. So halfway through this level, I guess, he'll be halfway to 15. You jumped, did he just jump over my crud? He's still not really putting up a fight at all. Ow. Let's get you level 8 before this ends, bro. Get you level 8. I probably will just keep all of this in all the way up to level 15. I don't think I'm going to edit much out, guys. This might be a bit boring, so if you wanted to skip ahead, you totally can, but... I've got a feeling some people out there might want to see a more unedited amiibo video. That way that they can see how the amiibo grows as I go. So I think it'd be more interesting if I, you know, just fight him the whole way instead of just setting it to... Or instead of just editing it ahead to when I get it to 15. I think this will be better. Wow, he actually killed me! I don't think I died at all as we fit Trainer, did I? I can't remember. Well, we got him killed there. Still not level 8. So you can see the levels... Oh, there he goes! He got it just before the end here. You can see the levels are getting a little bit slower. I think we got him up to 5 the first match, and only 8 this time. So that is going to wreck that guy. I could turn on items to make it more interesting, but I don't want to teach my amiibo to be an item scrub. Come on. So that's that. Let me go on and do... Uh, let's do some Ness. My favorite color is this one right here, this weird blue thing. I also kind of like this color, which is like a Mr. Mr. Saturn t-shirt, but I'm going to go with the blue one. I don't know what the face is supposed to be. Oh, we're going to Pyrosphere. This stage has Ridley on it, I think, as a stage hazard. I just saw a brief glimpse of that in the image. Oh, wow, he's level 9. I thought he was only level 8. I don't know why I thought he was level 8, huh? But I'm just going to bop this guy. I'm not even going to be... I'm not going to go easy on him just because he's level 9. Lonk, I'm teaching you the hard way. You got to learn, bro. I don't think I'm going to change the time to be any higher because I could just keep doing more matches as different characters. I think the time's at a good point. At I think it's at two minutes. So we'll just vary it up, vary it up have different characters each time. So that'll keep it more interesting for you guys. Man. You know what? Let's, let's take a moment just to watch him and see how he does. What is his gameplay now? Okay, he is using more... That looked like a neutral air. I don't know what that crit is. So he's doing some dash attacks. Oh, it's some enemies, I guess. He's really not very good yet. He hit me with the up B, that's nice, but for the most part he's still missing. Starting to use his boomerang a little bit more, so he is slowly but surely learning. Let's hope to at least get one level here before this match ends. And really bopping me, dude! I'm not sure if he gets experience for hitting me or just for battling and it's like a time thing. Oh, there goes level 10, nice. 
I heard someone say, and I think I mentioned this before as well, that amiibos will level up faster if they fight each other. So I might, I might do that. I just gotta decide which amiibos I want to unbox. I'll probably open up uh, Yoshi and Donkey Kong for sure. I just don't know what the last one I want to do is. I might do Wii Fit Trainer. I might. I, I don't think Ness was in that set, so I gotta wait for Ness. I'd have to wait for Mega Man. I don't know. Nothing really stands out to me as what I'd want to have for that last spot. Ridley, you need to go away, bro. Ridley is just gosh dang huge. There were so many people that were disappointed that you can't play as Ridley, but the reason they gave was that he's just too big, and if you shrink him down, he's not cool anymore or something like that, so... Yeah, I, I understand that. Defeat Ridley! Come on! Come on, Log! Help me kill the dragon! Or whatever he is. Space alien. Okay, he is now level 10. Five more levels to go. That time we only got one level, so... That... This is definitely slowing down. Oh, wait. Okay, so at, after the battle, he gets some extra experience, so he's up to level 11 now. So two levels for that one battle. So probably gonna have to have two or three more battles here. So I guess we'll just keep mixing it up with the characters. I think we're probably gonna have to have three more rounds, so I guess I'll do one as... Yeah, let's do one as Sonic. Let's go for the awesome gold color. I'll do one as Sonic, one as my dude Yoshi, and then maybe one as random. And that should probably round things out for level 15. I'm not going to go all the way to level 50, because that would probably take several hours. Can we break this? I don't know if we can break that. But still, same thing. I'm not going to go easy on you, Lonk. Ah, oh, crud. Oh, dang it. I didn't realize there was going to be a pit there. Well, that's plus one for Lonk, I guess, even though he never actually hit me. I just kind of killed myself. Yeah, get wrecked. I'm wondering if he's actually going to be a tough challenge. If we, if we get him up to level 50, I wonder if he's actually going to be tough. Because level 9 computers aren't really that hard. So if we can get a better challenge than that, that'd be a good thing. And similar to how I kind of killed myself, he just did, his, did himself now. So I think we're even. Get back here, Lonk. Oh, gosh. I guess that's a scale. So if we weigh it down too much with too many people, that will just fall. We got the guy in the background there. I can't remember their names off the top of my head. I know a lot of you guys want me to do a Pikmin Let's Play, so I probably will eventually. I do have the first one on the GameCube. So maybe at some point. But there we go. We got him up to level 12. I think the last round, our levels went a little bit slow, simply because I was standing around wa watching him do his moves for a bit instead of actually fighting him. So that's probably holding back his progress. So hopefully this one, we get him up to 13 or even 14. If we get him up to nearly 15 by the end of this battle, like if he goes up to 13 or 14, I might just go right into a random instead of picking Yoshi and then random. Because I'm sure a lot of you guys would like to see random. I think that'd be interesting. But I don't want to get him to 15 too quickly. Get over here, buddy! Oh! Let me, guys, let me show you guys a cool technique with Sonic. If you do his uh, spring thing, you go back a little bit and you can do his dive kick and just go crazy with it. It's actually kind of fun. It's fun for chilling people online and stuff. Usually no one gets hit by that, but it's just fun to see them, their reactions and all that. Okay, five more seconds. Can we get one more level? Come on, hit him. Hit him. Yeah. Kill him right at the last second there. And let's see what he got. So did we get him up to level 13? Sonic just completely destroyed him here. Or I, I destroyed him, I guess, as Sonic. Yep, he is level 13 now, so let's go into a random here. If we don't get 15 after the random, then I'll go to Yoshi, but I think we will. So, random. That's going to give us a random character with a random color, and we're going to do a random stage. Going to Port Town here. I think this was a, a uh, F-Zero stage. Oh, Toon Link versus Regular Link. Bring it on. We got the standard green color here. We have pretty much all the same moves. Well, not all the same, but very similar moves. Oh, you're just going to get destroyed, Link. Oh, come on, bro. The least you could do is try. Oh, he actually hit me there. I didn't realize he could go down below the surface. All right. Ooh. Ooh, the up stab. Oh, for the kill. One of the main moves that Toon Link has different is this downward strike, which pretty good against computers. Not very good in competitive play because people kind of expect it. And as fast as it is, it takes a long time to pull your sword back out of the ground once you hit. So you're going to be stuck there for a minute. But Lonk versus Toon Lonk, not going so well for Lonk. Come here. Oh, I couldn't quite reach him there. Yeah, predicted your movements, bro. 
Ooh! Ooh! Two stabs! Let's get a third one. Ah! Not quite. Come on, buddy. You gotta do better than that. What are you doing up B for? You're not trying to recover right now. There goes the level level 14 right now. He might get up to 15. We've still got almost a minute on the clock here. So I think this is gonna be the last battle. Ooh! Come on, bro. Uh, yeah! Ooh! Gotcha, sucker! Oh, we got all kinds of crud here. I don't know if you can bring your amiibos into the different modes. That's probably a good question, but I'm too lazy to check. If you guys know, feel free to comment and let me know. Can you bring your amiibos into, like... Um, can you, like, co-op with them on different modes? Can you bring them into Smash Tour or whatever? Let me know. Ah! I just gotta get this guy killed. I'm gonna try to kill him one more time. We've only got 15 seconds left. Now! Man, he might kill me. I think I've only died once in, like, all of the battles combined. I could be wrong. Oh, no, I died twice because I killed myself as Sonic. Oh! Make that three times! That was ridiculous. Well, that is the final battle, most likely. Did we get into level 15? The moment of truth! Yes, yes, we won as Toon Link. That's actually kind of a nice texture on his tunic there. Digging it. And level 15! So there you go, guys. Training a Link amiibo up from level 1 to 15. Took us about... Well, 15 minutes, so there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you probably tomorrow. I think I'm going to be doing the first mail opening video tomorrow. So, see you guys then. Take care.